What's up YouTube, it's Vinny77 here and today I've got my binder video. It's also the day before my end of the year video which I realise is cutting it very close. <laughs> as you may be able to tell as well, I'm trying a new um, light in front of my camera because I can always tell that my eyes are very dark, usually in videos. But now I realise you can see the bags under my eyes where I need more sleep. Anyway, I do also have an opening today. Um, I've got the milk carton opening uh, for Professor Juniper, so I thought I'd add an opening into the video too. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here is the binder. It's the Brilliant Stars Voltex binder from uh, Total Cards. And well, it's got plenty in there. So opening page, as you can see, if I can try and get the glare off it anyway. I've got the Charizard V and V Star. As you know, if you're a um, subscriber to my Instagram, I have the rainbow, which I actually pulled from the Arceus collection box where this card came out of, which was a miracle because there were only two Brilliant Stars packs in there. Got the Rainbow Cynthia and the Lucarios from the collection box. Then onto this page with all the various different full arts. We've got the Honchko V Altar, which is the only altar I've managed to pull from Brilliant Stars. Entei and Raikou. The Rainbow Shaman V-Star, uh, Mimikyu's, the two Raichu's, still haven't pulled the Pikachu. So here's where the gaps come in, really. Uh, so we've got the Typhlosions from Astral Radiance, Zoroark, so that's where the full art's going to go. And that is where the V-Star alternate art, I guess, is going to go, since it is a different artwork. If I pull the Gudra V, that'll go there. Um, same with Giratina. Got the... Uh, Iridactyl V Altar from Lost Origin. Uh, got the Dialg and the Palkia from the collection box with the Kurem, uh, the Meowth. Then we get into Silver Tempest. So there's the Lugia V Star if you've watched my ETB video. The Rainbow Superior V Star along with the Standard Superior V Star. Uh, the Unknown. I've managed to pull all three of them <laughs> without the Altar and the Standard V Star. So. Uh, there's that. Got the Reshiram, which I love, and I also love the Fallout. I just bought this today. Um, well, I say bought it today. It came today with the uh, Professor Juniper box. So yeah, I had to get that because I knew the odds of me pulling it weren't great. So uh, yeah, I thought I'm going to have to buy that separately. Uh, we've got the Roxanne, the Garchomp. Uh, as you know, I've got the Cynthia's Ambition and the Garchomp V as well. So they kind of all go together, but I've obviously got those two cards graded, so they stay out here. Next is my Into the Trainer Gallery cards, I guess. So I've got the Eevee page. I'm missing the Umbreon, and they haven't done a character a Trainer Gallery card, rather, for Espeon, Leafeon, or Glaceon. So I may get the Alt Arts just to chuck them in there, because that would be a really cool page, to be fair. Next, uh, the Zacian and the Zamazenta with Hop, and obviously then the Charizard with Leon. The Zekrom with N, which I think is an amazing card. It's a shame that they didn't do a Reshiram as well, because that would have been a brilliant duo. Got the Urshifus, and as you may be able to guess, I'd like to put the other missing artworks in there. So that would, again, be cool. More Trainer Galleries. I finally managed to pull the Pikachu the other day. Uh, they got the Duraludon from... Uh, uh, which one is it? <laughs> Silver Tempest. I'd love to pull the Rayquaza because I'd then have the set. Because I've got the standard VMAX, I've got the rainbow VMAX. It'd be brilliant to have the gold VMAX as well. Uh, got Kingdra with uh, Clear. Houndoom. Um, moving on to the gym leaders. So I'm going to try and make this page a kind of a farewell to Gala, I guess. Because you've got the friends, of Ga friends in Gala in the middle. Which I thought I was going to get graded, but I'd rather keep it in this, I think. Because if I can get the various gym leaders to go around, I know Acerola is not a Galar gym leader, or Galarian gym leader rather, but uh, she's just there for now. And then, uh, yeah, if I can get them, because uh, there should be enough spaces going around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, so there'd be the eight gym leaders going around, then with the friends in, in Gala in the middle, so that'd be awesome. And then there's the last page. So I just took delivery today of the Gardevoir, the Milotic, the Blaziken, and the Zeraora. Four cards that I thought were awesome, and then I thought these three would go great along the bottom because you've got uh, May, Rosa, and I think it's Gloria out of Sword and Shield. 
So obviously they're three of the female protagonists, so I thought they'd go well together. Got some, and then we're just into the cards that I like, basically. So the Evolution Trios, uh, the Ryolu and Lucario, and the Awesome Mewtwo Art, which I need to get in a hollow. I know it's around somewhere, but I don't know if that box is available in the UK. Yep, following then, uh, more Evolutions. I won't stick around too long on these, just purely because... I know everyone's seen these, and these are just cards I prefer anyway. Yeah, so we've got the Radiant, uh, Gardevoir, Steelix, and Sneasler. I do keep the Radiants back here, because <laughs> uh, I just prefer them with this. I, th I need to move some stuff around in this, I think, but... Yeah, i got the Hollows, got another Evolution set, the Articuno, Reverse, and Hollow from Silver Temper. See if you can see a bit better without the glare. Awesome artwork. Stunning, that is. Uh, got the... Radiance then from Silver Temper, so Alakazam, Serena, and Jirachi. Then I thought we'd have the Pikachu artworks going across the top, starting with Togedomaru, moving over to Zene, Mon Morph Pico. Then we got Pikachu and Raichu, and then I've just got the reverses below that as well. Got the Swords of Justice going along the bottom, an awesome Zeraora artwork, massive fan of that, and I love Victini as well. Next we've got the uh, Ralts, Curlia and Gallade from the check lane, as well as the Silver Tempest set. Uh, the Fletchling Evolution line, Dratini Evolution line, yeah, loads of Evolution lines on these two pages. And then finally to this page where we've got the Radiant Halucha, I haven't managed to pull the Heatran or the Greninja, which ironically would be the two I'd prefer. Um, and then the last page is my doubles page, which I think I'm going to put in the... Uh, Professor Juniper deck box that you get. So yeah, this is my Silver Tempest, Brilliant Stars and Lost Origin. I know they're not in the right order, but yeah, this is that binder. So I will do another binder video in the future with my Charizard and Pikachu binders, um, just because they're a separate thing. I thought I'd keep it relatively relevant, I guess. And um, yeah, so let's move on now to the Professor Juniper milk carton box. Okay, so we're into the opening portion of today's video. Please let me know what you thought of my binder. It's, uh, I know it's just a basic one for uh, this, this uh, the last three sets of the year. So you've got the promos here, so we'll open them in a sec. Got some sleeves. I know this is quite an old product, but I bought it in uh, the Black Friday sales, so I thought, why not? Uh, the deck box, which I have a feeling has the packs in it, and then just the other stuff. If you want to see the coin, there is the coin. Okay, so we'll get into the promos first, because why not? So yeah, my uh, binder is just the one I've been putting together for Brilliant Stars, um, Lost Origin, and Silver Tempest. As you probably noticed, there are some Astral Radiance cards in there, they were just cards that I was lucky to pull really. Okay, so you've got the Galaxy Foil Hollow for Professor's Research, three of them, and then the Full Art Professor's Research with Professor Juniper. And then the edges on the top look a bit iffy, don't know if you can see that, but yeah, that's a cool card. Put that at the back, and so there's the deck box. Hmm, Velcro, nice. Okay, so packs. I don't really know what the variation is. I think I've watched one of these, so, and I can't remember. So we've got True Brilliant Stars, nice, not going to argue with that. Two Fusion Strike, Rolling Skies, and Chilling Rain. Uh, we'll start with Chilling Rain, why not? We'll get the pain out of the way. Because, <laughs> let's be honest, probably not going to pull anything from Chilling Rain. And I'll save Brilliant Stars until last. Okay, which way is the code card? There's the code card. Not doing the pack trick. We've all seen this set a million times by now. Oh, no way. A full art Peonia. <laughs> I said we weren't going to get anything. It had to... Uh, it had to prove me wrong, didn't it? Typical. Okay, we'll go with Fusion Strike next. Probably leave Evolving Skies till last. Probably... Uh, not going to get anything decent out of it, just because my luck with Evolving Skies is terrible. So Muna, Meowth, Meryl, Voltorb, and Cloyster. 
Okay. Um, so obviously there are a few gaps in my binder here and there. Those are the cards that I'm looking to fill, and the code card is crap. So not going to get anything yet. Elder Goss and Polisand. There is the code. Uh, yeah, Bowen Sky's next. Why not? I'll say Brilliant Stars till last, probably because I'm uh, not going to be opening much more of it now. It's, it seems to be disappearing. But yeah, anyway, gaps in the binder. I know I'm a bit everywhere with what I'm saying today. Um, oh, well, that's good. Yeah, ga um, as I've said already, gaps in the binder. Yeah, so there are cards that I would like to get, so single cards um, to fill the various gaps, as I've already said. Uh, and then there's loads of other gaps then for sections that I'd like to fill up. So the trainer gallery and all that kind of thing. Okay, Sableye is probably just going to be a hollow. Hey, Montana, Roma Lady, and yeah, Reggie Drago. What a surprise. <laughs> okay, so we've got Evolving Skies. Uh, two Arceus and a Whimsicott. So we'll go with the Arceus and then go from there. I've heard that the pull rates from these are kind of terrible, but I want to open one up just to open one up really I mean you don't know unless you try it and we've had a full art and a hollow so yeah that's not too bad uh, Farfetch'd, Duskull and Dusknor hollow see so we're getting pulls so it's technically three pulls out of seven so far so that's not too bad it's obviously just under 50% because you can't have half a pull unless you get one of those miscut cards <laughs> So the next video that I release now will be on December 1st, and it will be my end of the year video. Dedene, Cubchu, Muck, and Big Barrel Hollow. So there's, so technically four pulls out of seven? That's not bad. So we've got the last pack. Can we get any last pack magic and get something better than a hollow? I hope so, <laughs> personally. I really enjoyed Brilliant Stars as a set, so I'm hoping that in the last packs we can pull something really good. Uh, Chimchar, Minchino, Baltoy, Snow Runt, Most Plastic, oh, Houndoom character, which I don't have actually, so that's cool, and uh, Grimmsnarl. So, yeah, like two major pulls out of seven packs and then a few hollows. I'm not going to complain there, and there's more cards for the binder now. So, what did you think of the binder? I'm pretty happy with it overall. Um, I think it's been Really fun putting it together, to be honest. There's still more to go in there, obviously, because of all the gaps. Uh, but I will be adding to that, and I will update my Instagram as and when I do. Um, the opening as well is pretty good. I mean, a full art out of the box. Can't complain. Um, but seven packs, I would have hoped for a little bit more, I think. But still a good box. I'm happy with it. Um, so, yeah, the last video of the year is out tomorrow, on December the 1st. Please uh, give it a watch. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. It's a really good opening, as I've said probably about four times in various videos so far. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you've thought of this video and let me know what you think of the video tomorrow. Uh, see you then.